You've decided to sell your home. But what's that going to cost? Well, that's what we're talking about today, and we're starting right now. My name is Teresa Fudge. I'm a listing specialist with Keller Williams Realty Atlanta Partners in Suwannee, Georgia. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I upload new videos every Monday. You don't want to miss a thing. Now let's dive in. What do you think it's really going to cost to sell your house? Well, assuming that you're going to hire a realtor, these are some typical costs that you could expect to incur. The first would be the real estate commissions for both agents involved in the transaction. That would be a seller's agent representing you and a buyer's agent representing the buyer of the home. So here's how that works. When you hire your agent, you're going to agree on a certain percentage of the final sales price of your home as the real estate commission. That normally is somewhere between six and seven percent. So then when a buyer's agent brings a buyer, your agent will actually split that commission with that agent. Your agent will also split that commission with their broker. In addition to that, out of that commission will come all of the cost for marketing your home. That would be the professional photography, possibly staging, um, that would be maybe a videographer or a drone photography. Not to mention all of the other marketing expenses, possibly flyers, online marketing, all that type of thing. So the second expense you could expect when you're selling your home would be the property taxes for the time that you've lived in it. The property bills here in Georgia come out later in the year, so it's possible that you have not actually paid that bill yet when you go to close. That would mean that the attorney for the closing would be calculating as accurately as possible your responsibility and what is the buyer's responsibility. If you have already paid that tax bill, then you would actually be getting money back or a, a rebate of that, that amount that you've paid. Another common expense for the seller would be a termite bond or a home warranty, or actually both. It is common here in this marketplace that a buyer would ask for both. In the event of the termite bond, well, that here in Georgia, we have bugs. Um, we have a saying that there are two types of houses, the houses that have termites and houses that will have termites. So it's, it's really common and normal that we have pest control type of programs in place. So you would just transfer that to the new buyer of the home. And as far as a home warranty, that's something that um, we're seeing more and more that buyers are asking for. It gives them peace of mind that they can live in the home for the first year and not worry about some of those major systems um, breaking down or needing repair. It would work like this. So let's say that the buyer moves in and they are hosting their first family party and the stove doesn't work. So they would call that warranty company they would send out a technician, and in the event that they could not repair the problem, then they would actually replace it. It's really nice. And that costs normally around $500. I actually work with a home warranty company that would provide free coverage for the seller during the listing period if they agree to pay for that first year warranty for the buyer. This could be something that could be used in the negotiation and really come up with the right deal that works well for both the seller and the buyer. Another common expense that we're seeing would be when the buyer asks the seller to actually pay a portion of their closing costs. Of course, this is completely optional. Uh, would be something, once again, that could be used as a tool to create the right deal for you as a seller and a buyer. And that normally would be somewhere between, I would say, $1,000 to $5,000, just depending on the actual price point of your home. So now you have a pretty good idea of what it's going to cost to sell your home. If you think that you'd like to sell your home in the next six months or so, click that link below. I'd like to offer you a free, no obligation, home valuation. This is a real important tool in helping you make the decision as to whether to sell now or in a couple of years. 
Selling your home is a big decision. You should know what you're doing. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.